terrible at curling your hair, aren't you? There are so many gadgets out there promising to help you curl your hair that are still so impossible to use. And even if you do figure out how to use them, the curls often don't even hold anyway. It is so frustrating when you're trying to find the solution and nothing seems to work. Everything is too hard to use, way too complicated. There's a massive learning curve or you finally do use it and you get it and then the curls drop after an hour. It's frustrating, right? Well, today I'm gonna to show you something really cool. I'm gonna be playing with the Timo Airflow, which is $99.99. So it's an affordable hot tool that is going to really impress you, I guarantee it. This product has a unique design in that it is a two-in-one curler and straightener, which allows you to not only effortlessly straighten your hair with smooth, tourmaline coated ceramic plates, but also allows you to get beautiful waves and curls. It has five adjustable precise temperature settings from 428 degrees for thick, curly, wavy hair down to 284 degrees for soft and thin hair. As if that wasn't good enough, the best part of this hot tool is that it has 360 degrees cool airflow circling in 88 tiny ionic air vents. They just think of everything, don't they? They just they just think of everything. This is so this is so brilliant on so many levels and I'm about to explain why. If you've been here for a while, then you know my hair motto. And my hair motto is that hair is malleable when it's hot, it sets its shape when it is cool. Whenever anyone tells me that their hair is not holding a curl or their hair isn't holding volume from a blow dry, I almost always know it's because you're letting your hair drop when it's hot. Hair needs to set because it's very malleable and flexible when it's hot. You need heat in order to change the shape of hair, but you need that shape to be cooled down so that it's set so that it no longer drops. In all of my videos when I'm teaching you guys different hair techniques, I say this over and over and over again. I feel like I'm just repeating myself, but every technique, no matter what you're doing to your hair, has the same thing applied to it, and that is that you need the hair to cool in the shape that you want it to be in if you want the style to last a really long time. So the really, really cool thing about this hot tool is that it solves that problem for you. You don't have to curl with a curling iron and then pin all your curls with pin clips. That really is a lot of work and it's actually a pretty complicated thing to do if you're not super hair savvy. This solves that problem for you in one step. So as you can see, the inside of this iron has that tourmaline coated ceramic plate, which is hot. And then the outside of the iron has these tiny little holes and this hole actually shoots out cool air. So while you are manipulating the shape of your hair with the heat, you're setting that shape in place with the cool air. If you have fine hair or super, super, super straight, silky hair that just does not hold a curl, this tool, this tool, this tool is for you. Let me show you how it works and I'm gonna show you three different styles. The reason that I love this hot tool is because it gives you totally different looks depending on how you use it. So you can pretty much replace your curling iron, your curling wand, and your straightener because you can create waves with this, you can create curls with this, and you can also create really nice, smooth, and straight hair even if you have very textured or frizzy hair. So the first look I'm gonna show you is straightening with the Timo. So as you can see, I have very textured hair. In all of my videos, I always blow my hair out right out of the shower to give me that smoothness and that volume. But today I allowed it to air dry for you guys so that you could see how frizzy and how out of control it is. All I have to do here is set my temperature, section my hair, comb it through to get rid of all those tangles, and then use small controlled sections with a smooth glide to straighten. For this technique, I don't need to use the cool air, so I don't. It's really cool that you can turn the cool air off if you don't wanna use it. So when I'm straightening my hair, I just turn it off and I use it just like a flat iron. Another thing I love about this iron when I'm actually straightening my hair is that it has a bend. So the iron is circular, so it's got a rounder shape to it. So because I have a bob, a long bob, I can actually bend my ends in in with this iron pretty easily. Yeah. 
Here is my before and after. Now, let me show you how I use this to wave my hair. In order to wave my hair, I turn the cool air on first. Then, from the top of the ear and down, I use rocking motions to create just enough bend in the hair to give texture at the bottom. Once I get above the ear, I take a long vertical section and I clamp the iron on the base, rotate once, release the hair, find where that curl stopped, clamp it down again, and finish the wave. This technique gives a long curl and not a spiral curl, which is very flattering on a bob length cut like mine and also very trendy at the moment. and then I brush the look through with a wide tooth comb. If you have longer hair than me, you can use this technique on the entire head of hair to get a beautiful, soft wave that's really super fast to execute. Here is our before and after. When it comes to waves and curls, I suggest you guys play a little bit with your part. I find that I look prettier when my hair is parted on the side when I do waves or curls, so I adjusted my part when I was doing that technique. I did an entire video on different parts and how they change your face and how they change your look. So if you are interested in that, go check out that video next because you would really be surprised as to how important your part actually is. Now let's curl. When you want more of a spiral curl, all you have to do is put a section of hair into the iron, rotate it once and pull it through. Because the plates are such good quality, the heat is stable and the iron is curved and the vents cool the hair down, you get the recipe for a perfect spiral curl. It does not disappoint. Look at this curl. It's amazing. I go through my entire head doing this motion, working with smaller sections because I really wanted to show you guys how curly I could actually get my hair using just this tool. Here is our before and after. If you have fine hair or like I said, super straight hair and you want to use this tool to curl your hair but you want it to be a little bit softer, what I would recommend doing is actually do your entire head how I showed in the third example. So do it like this where it is very, very curly because your hair will drop over time. It will drop less with this hot tool than with all the other hot tools because it is setting the shape for you with the cool air, but it will still drop inevitably. So if you want to get a beachy wavy look, start curly and wear it for a few hours and see if it's softly dropping. If it's not, then you can try technique two. Overall, this is an absolutely awesome tool. It's Glam Girl Gabby approved for sure. It's great not only because it's very, very, very simple to use, glides really well, clearly is very high quality, and is at a really good price point, but also because it sets your curls for you. It's literally like it was made specifically for me with all the things that I tell you guys on this channel. I love, love, love it. Double thumbs up. Go check out Tymo. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I will be leaving a link to the product in my description box and in my pinned comment below. Let me know which style of the three you prefer. Do you like straight, wavy, or curly? I'll catch you guys next week. Bye.